Hey guys, what's going on? Navi here. Today I'm extremely excited to unbox my first ever gimbal with you guys. We are going to unbox it and review it together. So without wasting any time, let's look at it. You can get the same model on BNH Photo for 269 currently. There is a $80 discount going on. And for the newer model, you can get it for 399 on Amazon or BNH Photo. But I got this one on eBay. It was for $189, approximately $200 with taxes. This is a refurbished model from the manufacturer. And it is the cheapest one available out there. You will find all the links below in the description in case you want to research more and buy one like this. If you find the content of this video useful in any way, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It will really motivate me to make more such videos in future. This gimbal can hold up to 4 pounds of combined weight of camera, lens plus accessories. And as you can see, it is compatible with most of the full frame mirrorless cameras as well as APS-C sensor cameras from all the brands like Sony, Panasonic, Canon, Nikon and Fujifilm. So this box is really sturdy and the build quality is really good. So there are a bunch of things nicely laid out in this box. Let's look at all of them one by one. First one is this warning card. And then this user manual which is really handy. One of the reasons behind getting this Moza Aircross gimbal was that it comes with a tripod which is really handy in a lot of situations. And you can nicely fold it to fit in the case. Next one is a gimbal head. As you know this is a 3 axis gimbal so it can rotate on 3 axes. This thing is built really nicely. I can feel that the quality is really good. Next one is this camera base plate. Not all the gimbals out there comes with a quick release base plate. I am glad that they have put this in the case. This is an all metal gimbal base which holds 3 rechargeable batteries. Oh it also comes with a DC charger to charge these batteries. It also comes with this bunch of control cables for Panasonic, Sony, Canon and micro USB. For firmware updates or modification of parameters. It comes with bunch of other accessories like holder of camera lens. And this lens support screw to secure the camera lens holder. Okay guys, next up we are going to see how you can set up your camera on this gimbal. And after that we are going to review and compare the clips taken with this gimbal and without it. Okay, let's set up the camera on this gimbal now. Okay, it comes with the base plate. I'm going to attach this base plate to my Canon EOS M50. Uh, it has got Sigma 16mm lens. So let me attach this base plate as well. So it gives you direction as well which way you have to attach it. Okay, so once you have this one ready, so you just need to attach your base plate with this camera. There is a screw over here that you need to tighten. Okay, so there are five tuning knobs in order to balance this one. So if you look at it, first one is over here. You need to just move it slightly because this is basically in a very good situation here. Other one is over here that brings the camera up or down. So if I move it up, it will go down. If I keep it here, it is going to be stable. So I am just keeping it over there. There are two screws over here. One is to move the base plate close to this location. I have moved it towards that end because otherwise this camera was not fitting well. And then there is one this, this one just tightens the base plate uh, and then the new camera on it. So let's look at why it is still not stabilized. So I am going to move it a little bit over towards this point. What I'm doing is I'm just unscrewing this and trying to adjust this so that our camera is balanced before we power this thing on. As you can see, we are really close. Let me move it a bit so that it is perfectly balanced. All right, this looks good so far. Okay, so at this point, as you can see, this thing is 
kind of balance really well. I'll just power it on and it should work. Nice. So as you can see, this thing is nicely powered at the moment. It also comes with this very advanced app. You just need to scan the barcode available in the user manual and it will prompt you to download this application. Once you have this application downloaded, you pretty much have to power on your gimbal and it will be connected with your phone through Bluetooth. You can pretty much control this gimbal through this app and it also shows you the basic information about this gimbal like how much battery it has and the firmware version. You can also power on or off this motor using this button. Also you can calibrate your gimbal. It also comes with a lot of advanced level features like advanced time lapse. There's also this joystick to control the gimbal from your app. There are a lot of configurations and settings to control this gimbal through this app. I'm not going to cover all of those in this video. If you want to see that one, please let me know in the comment section. It does stabilize the camera and help you with taking that cinematic videos. As you can see with this gimbal, you can take such smooth videos, which are so pleasing to the eyes. And it is really not that difficult to get that cinematic effect in your videos. Let me know in the comment section if you can visibly see the difference between clips taken with this Moza Aircross gimbal and clips without it. I'm truly loving this gimbal. There is still so much to learn about how to use this gimbal and we'll be sharing my reviews with you again in some time. So guys, if you really like the content of these videos, please smash that like button and click that bell icon to subscribe to my channel. I will be posting few more videos like this in future. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to exercise today.